The sequence 1ab is both a geometric and an arithmetic sequence. Must a equal 1? Now, if this must a equal 1 is what we're trying to prove in this question, we know that the sequence 1ab is both a geometric and an arithmetic sequence. So we'll take care of that geometric part first. Well, if that geometric part, well, that means our common ratio for the geometric sequence, that's just a, very, very simple, which means our sequence well, starts with 1, and we'll multiply by the common ratio, A, and just have 1 times A, which is still A, and that B, we can write that in terms of A, because or it's, oh, it's 1 times A, and then times A again, which is A squared. Now, our arithmetic sequence, we can do the same thing, right? In an arithmetic sequence, instead of the common ratio, we have a common difference of, well, we just have a minus 1. As our common difference, so I may as well write little colons so we don't confuse these together. Well, here our sequence still starts with 1. Well, you just add on that common difference, which is 1 plus a minus 1. And uh, B, that's A, which is 1 plus A minus 1. And you add on that common uh, difference again, plus A minus, plus A minus 1. Now, this first part, 1 and 1, well, that means if this is like 1AB, it won't change, which means these terms, all these terms, they have to be equal. Well, 1 and 1 is already equal. A and 1 plus A minus 1, or well, 1 and 1 cancel. Just this, that this A squared, that's a little more interesting. And I say interesting because we can at least make sort of an equation. like this, well, 1 minus 1 minus 1 again is negative 1, and a plus a is 2a. Subtract that over to get a squared minus 2a. Now, I'll uh, add one of both sides. So I'll flip that around to get a squared minus 2a plus 1 equals zero. Now if this was more complicated, I would use, uh, I would factor out this quadratic, but fortunately it's not complicated because you know, uh, a squared minus two a plus one equals zero. Well, I, I won't factor it because that means uh, a minus one squared is zero. Well, that means if something squared is zero, we can take the square root of both sides to get a minus one is zero, and there is no way that something minus one is zero. There's no way that a is something other than one because it has to cancel out. We can prove that a has to equal one. Now, when I first saw that a has to equal one, it was a little weird because of all the, inf well, of all the infinity numbers in the universe, only one of them works, but math does prove that our answer is yes.